What's going on guys and welcome to a, another review video. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Endenstar 249S M-ES. This is a 4K 10 inch digital microscope that Endenstar were nice enough to send out for review. But like with all my reviews they're completely my own opinion, I'm pretty honest with them. And Endenstar don't get to preview this video or anything before uploading it to YouTube so it's completely my own opinion. Alrighty, so let's get into it. Let's jump over here to the microscope and take a closer look. The AD249S is a mid-range digital microscope capable of recording 4K and it has three fixed zoom lenses included, as well as a composite-based unshielded endoscope, meaning the end of the endoscope isn't sealed at the end, so care needs to be taken when using it around heat or liquids. The three lenses included are intended for three separate tasks. You have the L-type lens which is intended for soldering and has a minimum working distance of 90mm and a maximum working distance of 300mm. Then you have lens A which is intended as a coin microscope with a working distance of 12 to 320mm. And lastly we have lens D. This is intended for biological use and it's used for extreme close-ups. I made a video previously looking at an iPhone screen, that's how close you can get with this. Uh, the focus distance of this thing is 4 to 5 millimeters, so it's tiny. It's made for using with those little glass slides and there's actually some included as well in the kit. It also comes with a little LED viewing platform to backlight them as well so you can see them properly. Unfortunately, the lens quality of all three is expected for a mid-range digital microscope like this. They do all include an IR cut filter, so you won't have any issues in that regard. But there's no polarization options in any of them, and the edge sharpness falls off rather quickly also, so you're going to have sort of blurry edges around the sides. You can probably see it in the video here. This shouldn't be an issue for general soldering work, but can be an issue for documentation as it's not really uniform. The lenses attach via two non-captive thumb screws, so they fall out when you pull them out. It would have been nice to see the lenses attached with like a bayonet style fitting as it does become quite tedious swapping between the lenses as the A and L lenses both have advantages when soldering or inspecting work. The microscope comes with an all aluminium stand which is good for small PCBs. If you want to use this with larger PCBs like laptops or console boards, boom arm may be a better option for you. The lights fitted are decent. In some cases they're advantageous over standard ring lights found on most stereo zoom microscopes as you can quickly adjust the angle for a better look. However, in other cases, they can cause hot spots and be a little bit annoying to use. So sort of 50-50 on this one, I'm not too sure. The screen and video quality are quite nice. The larger 10 inch display has a good response time and once you get used to using it, it's quite easy to use. The display inside is an MIPI based 10.1 inch IPS panel with what looks to be a 720p resolution. The device is also fitted with HDMI output, but quite annoyingly, when you connect this via HDMI or via the optional USB or Wi-Fi PC software, the internal screen completely shuts off, it's unusable. So no live streaming from this one. Also, it's a bit hard to use if you're using an external display with this because your hands and eyes are sort of completely separated. It's quite hard to coordinate that way. As for internal recording, the 249S supports up to 4K 24fps or it can do 60fps in 1080p. I'd recommend just using the 1080p 60 option as this is most definitely not a 4K sensor. It's probably closer to a 720p sensor, it's quite small. And yeah, all in all, this is just a real quick video doing this review. There's not much really to say about this microscope. It, it works, it's good. It's a good starter microscope for electronics repair and general inspection. The endoscope feature can be quite handy for inspection for looking underneath BGAs and stuff, especially with liquid damage or just generally just having a look, seeing for cracked balls and things like that. However, it's let down a little by the lens quality and the lack of HDMI pass through. Having said that, it's still a cheaper option if you want a microscope with video recording capabilities. And all in all, you end up with a complete package that you can just set up and go. Be nice to see in the future if they include a model with HDMI pass through because this would be quite a good little setup for quick little live streams and other videos like that. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in buying this microscope, I have a link down in the description where you can get one from. And yeah, until next time, see ya.